most of the damage seems to be on the, the south edge of town. The damage started probably about a, a mile east of Rush Browns, coming across County Road 1550. Angled across, so destroyed an outbuilding with a that adjoins Highway 81. Because, you know, you can't see that on damage the continued across so to the Blues Diner, that's one of them things that trailer house in the trailer park. You can tell until it At least one of them is completely demolished. So There's also um, damage to some of the other trailer houses in the park. Some windows blown out. One of them's blew around a little bit. And there's more damage east of town, We're rocking about a mile, west, maybe a mile and a half. <laughs> what, uh, what was the first report? Was it worse? Did you think it was worse than what it was? Or? Well, the first report was just actually the the debris from Blue Diner was actually blocking the roadway, and then when units got on the scene, they discovered that the power lines and the outbuilding out by Tri Red, which is a welding shop that adjoins 81, it was actually all in the highway and had the highway blocked off along with the power lines. And then they, the fire department went out and started checking the residences out in Cool Springs area, which is just to the west of the building that was destroyed. What, uh, I mean, is there any power outage that's going to last substantially long? So far, the crews from PSO have actually not showed up. Um, all of the residents in Rush Springs are without power right now. It didn't look like there was any major power line damage except through the one area south of town running along County Road 1550.